So what is PHP? Well, PHP is a scripting language, and it's also a programming language, and it's very C-like. It's based on the C programming language. Scripting languages generally don't compile, and this is the case with PHP. We'll talk about that. But as a programming language, we know that programming languages can be very, very powerful. That's what PHP is. It's extremely powerful. We'll talk about that as well. So because it's a programming language and a scripting language, you get the best of both worlds. You can do a lot of different things with it. It's free and it's open source, meaning that you can just download it and use it. There's certain licenses, of course, and it's really something of a marvel that it's grown to the level that it has today. And it's definitely because it's an open source solution. So it, it is modified a lot and there are different versions that you can use. So you can grab that source code and compile the language itself and also learn from it. It's fast, open, and stable, but importantly here, it's cross-platform. You can use a Linux production server, a Windows development server, a Mac testing server, whatever you'd like, and you're going to be able to use PHP the same across the platforms, given a few other web server concerns. But for the most part, it's extremely, extremely cross-platform. Other operating systems are supported as well. No compilation. It's a scripting language, so you don't have to compile it. And this helps. You just put your scripts into the folder, and they're going to be parsed and executed on the server side, on that web server. And then the browser, your users, they're going to see the great results in instant time, depending on how busy that web server is. You also don't have to compile the language. Like I said, you can grab the binary files and just install it. There are installers and things like that, and it's really easy to get started. There are definitely some configuration issues, but for the most part, it's easy to get started. It's also easy to learn the language itself and use the language, but it's also extremely powerful. You're going to see so many different examples in this training program, and you're going to see the depth of the language itself. And in no time, you're going to be writing some wonderful PHP code yourself. But you're not alone. PHP is all about community, and you're going to be able to download open source solutions, extend them, learn from them, and there's a lot of sharing going on when it deals with PHP. I really think it's one of the strongest sharing communities that are out there. It's coming back a little bit, drawing back a little bit, only because the other communities are a little bit less open than PHP. They're trying to catch up to PHP, and I think PHP is slowing down a tiny bit and moving a little bit towards the commercial realm, which is good. So you don't need everything free. You definitely can have solutions that you can purchase that aren't necessarily free written in the PHP language. And you want to check out Zend.com for some interesting products on working with PHP and protecting your source code and things like that. But as we can see, PHP is a wonderful, wonderful thing to actually program in. It's a joy to write certain scripts and using arrays and strings and all these things that other languages have a problem with. PHP really excels in many different regards in that area. It's also object-oriented, and that's a plus. That's a bonus. Everything is moving towards object-oriented programming, and PHP has extended itself in PHP 5 to do even more object-oriented type programming. 